I am Jeffrey Ironfist, back in World of Tanks. It is not the first time me and others have asked for skill-based matchmaking and you will see an example of why it is absolutely needed if uh, wargaming is serious about protecting uh, the new players. So here we have a team, uh, tier 5, tier 4, tier 5, top tier, the majority of which do not have Camel. Out of 15 tanks, at least 10 did not have Camel. And probably it's not just Camel that they are lacking. You can see them here. It's not just Camel that uh, they're missing. They're probably missing a lot of other things. If they cannot afford to put on Camel, which you can get for free uh, in Twitch drops, they probably have 50% crews, they probably have uh, no equipment, they probably have stock tanks and so on. And let's see uh, what the enemy team is like. Is it any better or is it just the same? And why am I in this game? So first of all, I'd like to give you a heads up here. I've knocked down a tree um, to have this position because we've got two tanks going on the other side. We have three snipers up here, so we are forced to reckon with. So I have a Twitch channel now. I'll put the details down below in the video description. So there's some noise on the left. So I'm not sure what was happening. What was happening is that we have a T1 heavy without camel, who decided he also wanted a snipe and he was pushing the two tank destroyers out of the way so that he could also get to snipe. Now, I don't know if it is the M10 that is firing or the T1 heaviest thing is the M10 that is firing. And the T1 heavy doesn't have a shot. No, do I, no. Does anybody else? Well, most of us are a bit unemployed. I don't think the M10 or BFM was hitting anybody with his shots. He's probably hitting the hills. This is not the best map for tank destroyers. Having said that, this is not just talking about skill-based matchmaking. You will see a little bit what's going on at the end. It will be a reversal of fortunes. We go from brags to riches. So stay tuned until the end. This is not just a video about criticism of the game. And so two enemy tanks are approaching finally. Most of the enemy uh, tanks have gone to the sides, but uh, two of them come in this way. Unfortunately, there's this huge boulder here in the middle, and I don't have a shot at uh, the approaching tanks. But I might be able to spot them. So it didn't look as if the Marda 38T had camo. Uh, the M10 or BFM shoot, is shooting at this guy who's there up on the bridge on the road so he tried to escape and fell down the hill and the t1 heavy rather than helping out he doesn't like it, the fact that m10 was shooting at the enemy tank so he pushed him out of the way and of course we have a little bit of a shenanigans there um, now the M10 at least did something useful, unlike the uh, T1 Heavy, and that's why I shot him. Uh, it's very frustrating, not just to have a Heavy that's shooting from the red line, but one that's interfering with the game of their, of their teammates without doing anything useful themselves. In fact, preventing our teammates to do something useful, as we just saw. Now we are 4 to 10, so the enemy has 11 tanks, we have 5, so we're outnumbered already by more than 2 to 1. So it looks like this game uh, is lost, or at least that we will have definitely to defend the base, so I'm preparing for the defense of the base, and uh, let's keep our fingers crossed, let's see what is going to happen. But you can tell that our team didn't just have forgotten to put camo on their tanks, which is free. They had forgotten to probably bring on ammo, bring on crews, who knows what else they had forgotten to put on their tanks. 
in their tanks. So, and this is one of the enemy tanks that won the flank. So this guy defeated our teammates. Uh, he also did not have camel, and he was quite clearly not a very good player, not a very experienced player. And so to come back to the question of skill, the only reason people would not want skill-based matchmaking, here goes another expert, all of these guys, all of the enemy tanks don't have camo either. The only, okay, a bit spotted here, so the enemy steward is yoloing us, so might have been a little bit, a little bit more careful as a player, I've taken cover behind him, I can't be shot here and the BDR cannot shoot us here. So we're both well protected. But someone is shooting the BDR. He should have been moving, but he's not moving. In any case, um, you can see already the disparity in skill. And I wouldn't really like to be in this game. I didn't choose to be in this game. Uh, I, I mean, my win rate is similar across all tiers. It's not is not much worse, let's say, at tier 10, maybe a little 5% or, or so, 0.5% uh, worse, but not that much worse. It's not that if, as if I am um, seal clubbing intentionally any more than I'm seal clubbing at tier 10. The problem is that I haven't chosen to be with this team. Yeah? It wasn't my choice to be with this team. I don't want to be with these teams. I don't want to play against these players. I just want to play with tier 5, tier 6 tanks. It wasn't good enough for you, was it? Because they're historical tanks. Yeah. And I don't care for a one person, whatever it is. First person uh, shooter game. I want to play a strategy game with historical tanks. And so. I want to play these tanks, Let's not and argue about who kills but against competent players. And how can we can we do that? I mean, it can be so difficult. So now we're going to have onslaught mode, and there'll be an attempt to explore things in this direction. But as I was saying before, the only reason why people would not want skill-based matchmaking, really, the players would not want skill-based matchmaking, or not. World gaming is if they want to see a club. So the ones who are against skill based matchmaking are the seal clubbers. Yeah? And the ones who are in favor of skill based matchmaking uh, are the few who actually want to play responsibly. And the other interesting thing, we're 2v2 by the way, and no, I'm, I'm the last man, uh, last man standing. So can I get this guy? Um, does he have six cents? Here we, here we go, six cents. Does he have six cents? So he's gonna go off. If I go to the left and he's lit, will he move? Does he have six cents? He doesn't have six cents, he's not moving. So he's playing without six cents. So as I was saying, um, I don't want to play with these people, quite frankly. And you know, why should they be playing with me? They have nothing to learn from being shot by an invisible tank. Or maybe they'll learn that they should be uh, buying camo and buying ox and all those things which you, you can be bothered with. Okay, he was stalking. I thought he's either stalking or he's going to defend his base. Uh, he was a noob, so he's just stalking. And I was full HP, so no big deal. So here are the stats, so nearly 2,000, uh, 2000 experience, so eight kills. But uh, what I was um, saying was, what else? We have Rally Walters and High Cover, only first class, by the way. So this is quite a good tank with eight kills. You only get first class. <laughs> All right, so um, let's go back to what I was saying. From war gaming side, they perhaps don't want skill-based matchmaking because battles will last longer if the teams are balanced. Whereas if they're unbalanced, we have a lot of blowouts, so some games will end in four or five minutes. A lot of games will end up in four or five minutes, even less. Um, and so 
from um, from Wargaming's viewpoint, uh, skill-based matchmaking is not the thing. But what happens in reality is these are not teams. There are people like five-year-olds who run around alone, and ten-year-olds who can uh, play some kind of frisbee game. There are fifteen-year-olds who played football a few times, and there are twenty-year-olds who are in a local football team. And then there's a whatever. There's Cristiano Ronaldo and so on. If you put everybody together uh, randomly in some teams, some people are from Manchester United, some people are from Liverpool, some people are five-year-olds, and whatever. And you get more five-year-olds on one side. Uh, you get Ronaldo and a couple of other, you know, professional players on the other side you get now and then a blowout and the game is over in three minutes four minutes five minutes we can move on to the next one and what will the five-year-old learn from this nothing yeah and so it's not about the new players learning from the experienced players you know you can do you can you think of an example where you learn something from an experienced player in a blowout I don't think so. You learn from people, maybe from your clan mates, once you are advancing in the clan and you participate in clan wars or in skirmishes, then you maybe, yeah, but you, you're playing with teammates who are equally good as you against teams which are equally good as you. That's when you are learning. Uh, and so there's absolutely no argument that you don't learn if you're playing with well, people your own um, level. The only reason people don't want to play uh, skill-based matchmaking, players don't want to play skill-based matchmaking, is because they watch people like Wiki ba uh, Quickie Baby and so or whatever, and they see them see a clubbing or whatever. I wouldn't call it see a, see a clubbing necessarily, but you know, killing a lot of tanks that show their best games, and they think, oh, I want to be like this, and they go into battle thinking that's easy because Quickie Baby and some other guy does it in every video. But it's one of the best games of the day out of 30, 40, 50 games, or maybe 100 games that week, the show won. Uh, that's not what happens every day. And they think, okay, I'll go in without binds, without karma, without a crew, 50% of this, and you know, whatever, and I kill eight tanks. Well, it didn't happen this time, it happened next time. It's a sort of a lottery near miss effect, you know. And the fact is, we're all playing a lottery, especially when matchmaking is the way it is. We all have win rates around 50%. Well, those of us who try in any case, we all have win rates around 50%. We are playing a lottery game. The way it is now, it's a lottery game. So why not make it skill-based matchmaking? Yes, everybody will have 50% win rate. Well, that's what we're having now. But at least we'll be with teams that are our level and we'll have enjoyable games. Yeah? Thank you for listening.